I'm going to take my gimbal out and try and use it while the dogs are going on a walk. Uh, I've been using gimbals on my mobile phone. I haven't actually tried to use one on my camera. And just, just to answer a question I think some might have, which is, why do I have a rubber band on my lens? Uh, I have that on there because with this being a zoom lens, sometimes if I point it down because of gravity, it will start to uh, work the lens itself out because it will start to fall with gravity. But if I have the rubber band on there, it actually gives it some resistance to moving. So I just put that on there to maintain zoom, even if I have the camera pointing down. Keep walking, Coco. Don't worry about me. Coco, I get the impression you don't like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll try the other one. Of course he does. Okay, so I've tried this out. I see what it will do, what it will not do. So it does a pretty good job of canceling out any type of rotational motion that I add uh, while I'm filming. However, any type of uh, up or down or left or right motion that I make, it doesn't cancel that out. Now there do exist gimbals that can also take care of that, but those are not within my price range. Uh, but so the next time I use this, I know now to just be a little bit more aware of how much bobbing motion I'm putting in there. I also did notice that if it's closer to the ground, then of course that no that bobbing motion is more noticeable. Uh, but if I'm actually using it at eye level, then uh, you don't really notice it as much. 
Uh, but I've got some more playing with this to do to figure it out. Uh, I understand that I can also operate some camera functions from this knob, but I haven't actually set that up yet. <laughs> 